Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, I want to share something that I think is uh, fascinating, quite honestly. Picked it up from the Book of Mysteries by Jonathan Kahn. So the teacher asks the student, he says, uh, so what was the first thing, the first act uh, towards man after God created Adam? And the student's like, create a woman? And the teacher's like, actually, it was before that. Uh, so the student says, okay, I give, I don't know. It was to take him somewhere. Ah, into the garden. That's right. So let's take a look at it. That's Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. And it says, the Lord God placed the man in the garden of Eden to tend it and watch over it. Hmm? It's cool, right? Okay. I mean, garden of Eden. I, I said it this last week uh, out at lunch with... Uh, with some folks sat outside, beautiful. It was at the uh, outdoor at the at the Greek islands. I love eating al fresco, eating outside. And I said it's like the Garden of Eden. I think my wife thinks I overreact sometimes, but just the wind blowing through the trees, it's beautiful. So the Lord God took the man, placed him in the Garden of Eden. And uh, do you know when this was? So yeah, it was the sixth day. It was on the sixth day. So Jesus died was crucified on Friday. That would also be the sixth day. Then they took him down from the cross and they laid him in a tomb. You guys are like, yeah, we're tracking you on that. But see, it wasn't just any tomb. What kind of tomb was it? Let's take a look at John chapter 19. John chapter 19, verses 41 and 42. It says this, the place of the crucifixion was near a garden where there was a new tomb, never used before. And so, because it was the day of preparation for the Jewish Passover, and since the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. Hmm. We got a garden in the beginning, and we got a garden in the end. Both are happening on the sixth day. On the sixth day, God brought man into a garden. On the sixth day, man brought God into into a garden, into a garden tomb. A garden is a place of life, but a garden tomb is a place of death. And so God brought man into a place of life, but man brought God into a place of death. The Garden of Eden was a place of joy. The garden tomb was a place of sorrow. The Garden of Eden was a place of God's creation. The garden tomb was a place of man's creation. So God brought man into God's blessing. But man brought God into the place of man's curse. Why? God allowed himself to be brought to the place of our curse to give us the power to leave that place and that he might bring us from death to life, sorrow to joy, and from a tomb to a garden of blessings. Scripture is replete with incredible connections. And sometimes they're right there in front of you, but you need somebody maybe who understands the original language better. But God wants to bring you into a garden of life. Someday back to the Garden of Eden. And he was willing to go into a garden tomb. He was willing to die to bring you into that life. May you receive and experience the abundant life that he has for you. God bless you.